In this video, I'm gonna show you the top YouTube apps you should be using if you want to grow your channel. So, are you ready? Hey entrepreneurs, it's Salma Jafri from salmajafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell and let's begin. Now the first app I have for you that's going to help with something very specific which is keyword research. You must know whether your topics are going to be able to rank on YouTube. You must know whether your topics are going to be able to rank on Google. That is how you get found on YouTube when people don't know you yet. That is how you grow a beginner or even an intermediate channel on YouTube. And my top tool to do that is TubeBuddy. I do have a Pretty nice tutorial on how to use TubeBuddy. I also have a discount code, which I'm gonna put in the description down below, where you can get a discount on a TubeBuddy license. I also like to download the TubeBuddy app for my Android. I think it's also on iPhone. And of course, you can use all the features on desktop. TubeBuddy also comes with a ton of other resources, such as templates and lower thirds. Lower thirds are the little things you see down below on the screen. Um, and it also comes with audio options if you want to have some options of music to put in your YouTube videos. Of course, royalty free, then TubeBuddy is also an excellent resource for that. So there's a ton of features, a ton of functionality in that. I consider it the top most tool for a video entrepreneur to use if you are creating videos for YouTube. So get TubeBuddy today. The second tool I highly recommend, which also falls under the video SEO category, is Keywords Everywhere. Again, I have a full tutorial, which I'll link to up in the info card here, about how to do keyword research, how I do keyword research using that tool. And it is so amazing because it's just a Chrome plugin and then it, uh, every single time you Google a keyword, keyword research not only tells you the search volume, for that keyword, but it tells you a whole laundry list of related topics that you might not even have thought of that you could create videos on. I get a ton of ideas for content, for content strategy using this tool. And I think, oh, you know, this might rank well, or this has the potential to rank well. So I use keywords everywhere to do my basic keyword research. And honestly, without that tool, I would not know what my audience wants in the exact terminology that they're using, because that indicates to me the search volume for very specific terms that people are using to find my content. So get keywords everywhere. The next amazing tool I have for you is also free, just like the last one was. It is the YouTube Studio app for your phone. I don't know about you, but I spend a ton of time on my phone working and sometimes I just don't want to open the laptop for everything. And so if you have the YouTube Studio app, Download it on your phone. It's a great way to keep tabs on your channel. It's also a great way to see trends. I love using the feature that's the real-time views. So as soon as you upload a new video, you wanna see how many views that that video gets and also what are the top uh, videos that are getting those real-time views. And you can identify trends, you can see growth, you can see what topics resonated with your audience like right away. And then there's also a ton of more um, features and, uh, and and functions that the YouTube app allows you to access. For example, you can do uh, comment moderation right from the YouTube Studio app. You can check your revenue report. You can check your audience retention. You can check your SEO and what search terms people are using to find your video. So it is pretty rich, pretty full. It's my go-to app and could become your go-to app if you're a stats nerd like me. You can download it from uh, the Play Store if you're on Android or wherever on Apple, I don't know, wherever you download from. And then I'm gonna put the link in the description as well. All right, the next app, or rather, not app, I think it's more of a functionality of YouTube that I have for you, is the YouTube editor. Now, if you have been following YouTube for a while, you'd know that they took away the editor and then brought it back better. So what I like about the new YouTube editor is that if you upload a video and you realize that you wanna make a couple of changes, maybe you fumble the beginning or you want to delete something from the video, you can do that in the YouTube editor. So you can cut 
and remove. You can slice and take things out. This is especially useful if you do live videos. And let's say in the beginning five minutes of your video, you're just welcoming people in and you're saying hi and you're chatting. So for the replay viewers, that five minutes is kind of useless. So you can actually just take that whole section out. So when people come and watch the replay, they just get straight to where you start your content from. And so they're likely to stay longer and watch longer. So the YouTube editor is the, the functionality within YouTube that you can use to make minor edits and changes. You can even add a, a, a voice track or sort of an audio track on top of that. So you can do all of these small, small editing changes right inside YouTube itself. I think it's very valuable for beginners. So go and take a look at what all is inside there. The next must have tool in my arsenal is Canva. Now Canva is absolutely necessary for me to make attractive, professional, eye-catching thumbnails. And also it has a YouTube template that's so easy to use. And sometimes some of the free graphics in there are also very simple and easy to use. So what I like to do is make sure that I'm creating custom thumbnails for each and every video using Canva because I want to make sure that people click to watch my video because in the line of videos that come up when somebody searches for a topic, there's so many options. And one of the reasons they're gonna choose your video is because you have an attractive thumbnail. So you can go into Canva and use that. And I have a full tutorial, which I'm gonna to link to up here on how to use Canva to make custom thumbnails. The next app I have for you or software I have for you is to help you to schedule out your promotion for your video in a way that you don't have to be doing it live all the time or in the moment. And that app is called Recur Post. So it kind of works like this. It's a social media scheduler and it allows you to plug in your content and send links out everywhere. So I can use it to promote my content on Facebook, uh, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. So I use it to schedule out all of my content in advance, write like my promotional tweets, go watch this video, or this is what this video is teaching, or here's a tip from this video, schedule it all out using recur post, which is great for like not having to always remember <laughs> to promote your content, because I do not think that making a great video is enough, you've actually got to work at promoting that video to make sure people see it. I'm also gonna put a link to Recur Post in the description below so you can grab it from my link. The next tool I love is Wave Video. Now Wave Video is absolutely great for if you wanna create short teasers and posts or maybe even ads related to your content, your business, your videos, your channel. And the way that I really like to use Wave Video is to create content in multiple formats. So if I'm creating a square video, then I also want something vertical for Instagram, landscape for whatever, and square for LinkedIn. So they give all these dimensions and it's really, really easy to create one video video using um, stock images and stock videos from their library. And I think they have one of the largest stock image and video libraries of any tool that I have seen so far. And I have a discount code for you actually for Wave Video. So again, all the links are in the description. So go there, check Wave out and play around with it. I'm sure you're going to love it. I would love to hear from you which of these apps is a must have app in your opinion something that works, something that you either desperately want or already have and love. Tell me in the comments below your favorite app. Finally, I wanna talk a little bit about email and you know from my previous videos that I'm a huge, huge proponent of using YouTube to build my email list. And currently I am using MailChimp to do that. It was a great tool to start off with for beginners. I have reached a plateau with MailChimp right now, and I'm actually gonna switch email providers soon. However, I still recommend MailChimp if you are a beginner, if you have one list, you can drive traffic to that. So you absolutely wanna make sure you get on board with an email service provider such as MailChimp. It has free landing pages, free templates, a ton of free features, and it's absolutely free for the first 2,000 email subscribers. And I think it's a must have because every video should have something to do at the end. And if you can get people to subscribe to your email channel, sorry, to your email list in, um, in exchange for a freebie, that's a great way to build your business. And having said that, why don't you subscribe to my email uh, subscriber list by getting my free 
YouTube Masterclass. It's a 30-minute class that teaches you the essentials of how to grow a YouTube channel. You can grab that from the end card or from the link in the description and go and watch that. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.